I need to take this rocker cover off because the rocker cover gasket is leaking. I can't see it so much from this side, but it is leaking. So I've got to take that off. All right, that little lot there has been stripped. And now we can see the job at hand a little bit more clearly. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this one here, seven, and then you've got that one with the bracket on it, eight. And then I think that might be it. Oh, there's one under there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there it is. It's so nine, 10 mils basically. Oh, and then there's 10 and 11 in the middle. And then core packs out. And I think I'm gonna have to get this out of the way as well. This little loom bracket thing. So that's another two 10 mils there. So 10 mils all round basically. So let me buzz those out. Another thing to uh, keep in mind, these breathers need to all come off. So that one, and my favorite one here, that always comes in the way. <laughs> anyway, that one as well. All right, something to note, all of these coil packs are oily, as you can see there. That's the first one, I've just taken it out. And then this one as well, bit of oil on there. And then I'm sure this one's got some on it. Yep. And then this one as well. Oh, this one's not so bad. But I'll give them all a wipe down and then take those two middle ones out. All right, I've just got the loom out of the way. That's that there. And I've just undone those two and they don't come all the way out. Oh, actually they do, I've just pulled it. But I wasn't sure if I wanted that all the way out because it's got a nice little sealed thing on it so i'm gonna leave that one in there i was planning to leave them in but <laughs> old heavy hands over here i just pulled it out but anyway onwards and upwards so these all these tends to take out now all the way around basically and that's it all right just something quick to note this bugger over here is 12 mil so get your 12 mil on top of there crack it open and now it comes the rest are all 10 mil so that one's a nut the ones that are holding brackets and are nuts. So that one and that one. There, 10 mil. Oh, and that one there holds the dipstick bracket on. Mine's obviously modified, but your stock one will be held on by that 10 mil as well. All right, guys, and just like that, it's time for lift off. I'm going to clean up all the mating surfaces for the rocker cover and then new gasket on the rocker cover I'll show you how to do that in a minute and then put it back on but something else to note see that little line there where the timing chain cover goes on Toyota actually put a sealant on that little crack bit there it's a special sealant but I've got a PU sealant I think that'll do the job so there and there both sides and then rocker cover back on look at this thing how crusty and hard it's got horrible anyway that's off and uh, what I'll do is take that one out as well look how hard that is shouldn't be that hard should it that one's just actually snapped in there all right and whilst that's all still nice and clean I'll quickly put the other one in so this is a little rock cover gasket kit that I bought um, it's Victor Rains that's the Orion's however you want to say it that's the part number there uh, if you do need it and um, it has got the two little gasket -y bits for the two middle nuts as well so very handy the new gaskets on and it's a lot more pliable and nicer than the old one so I think uh, it will actually work now I'm just gonna stick a blob of sealant there and then there the normal PU18 stuff that I use pretty good stuff this uh, all right, my two blobs 
of sealant are in place. Just gotta put the whole thing back now. All right, I've just dropped that in place. And what you've gotta be mindful about is that you've gotta get it in between here and here. You gotta get that your lip of the rocker in between this bracket. So you've gotta lift that bracket up and out of the way. And in the process, the gasket could drop out. So just be careful of that. And then I was sort of snagging on these wires and stuff which you shouldn't have anyway because they're my adapters. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna talk it all down now. You're supposed to talk it down to 10 Newton meters. Okay, so these are the middle screws I showed you earlier that were stuck to the rocker cover. Look at the state of that gasket or washer or whatever you wanna call it. I'll show you the new ones now. Okay, so there's your new one and there's your old one side by side. Bloody hell, what a difference. Okay guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I haven't actually got a 3 8 inch torque wrench so I've only got a half inch drive one and I'm not going to be talking this time <laughs> with a half inch torque wrench I've done it by hand and by feel these rubber gaskets you can't really over tighten them anyway it's the cork ones you have to be careful with and I think that's all nicely tightened down now just something to note quickly when you're putting this little loomy bit back in yeah just put your core packs in place loosely, no bolts, and then drop this in place, and then you have to sort of lift this up and drop that down, and then that goes in position. If you try and put your core packs in place first, that will not go in. You could probably put that in first, but that's the way I do it. So for what it's worth, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. The rocker cover gasket, how to change that. So I hope you got something out of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, subscribe to my channel for more juicy content and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.